Hey guys! I hope you guys are healthy and I hope you guys are staying safe and if you're new around here, my name is Linda Oro and I hope you guys can join my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below and if you guys are returning viewers, I really appreciate it. I'm thankful for you and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another cooking segment because I've been seeing um, these Korean corn dogs all over YouTube, all over social media, and I want to try them out, you know, because I've never tried them. I tried to look up a place that sells these near where I live, but I didn't find any. They were just regular corn dogs, but I wanted to try these out because they look really good. So I decided to try to make these at home because I had all the ingredients and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to drive like super far and then have them get cold. But yeah. So I wanted to try my, to make them here at home. I'm going to show you guys the whole process and I hope you guys can make these at home too and I can't wait to try them. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay guys, so I have all the um, measurements in front of me but I'm going to be putting them down below so you guys can see them if you guys want to make them at home. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So you will need one cup of flour. That's one cup. Oh, one teaspoon of salt. Oops, I spilled some. Two tablespoons of sugar. I have brown sugar, but it's sugar, so I don't think it'll be a difference. And then they use um, baking powder, but I don't have baking powder. I have baking soda. I looked online to see like what the difference was because I was like, isn't that the same thing? But I guess it's not. For every teaspoon of baking powder, you want to substitute one fourth teaspoon of baking soda with half a teaspoon of either vinegar or lemon juice. So since it's asking for two teaspoons of baking powder, I'm going to use two fourths um, teaspoons of baking soda and then one teaspoon of vinegar. Two fourths of baking soda, one teaspoon of vinegar. Ooh, that sizzled. It's some sort of chemical reaction, I don't know. And then I have to use one egg. Guys, I can crack it with one hand back now. Ooh. And then three fourths cup of milk. And then we mix. I don't know about you guys, but these look really good to me because I love corn dogs. But these are just filled with cheese, you know, and I love cheese as well. So I was like, I need to try these out because they look amazing. And I will be rating them at the end from a scale of 1 to 10 like I always do. And I'm always honest with you guys. So if they're not good, I will tell you. But if they are good... I will let you know. So this is nice and mixed. The video that I saw um, did show that it had to be like pancake mix, like kind of runny, but kind of, but not too runny, you know. And I feel like this is a good amount. So this is done, and now we're gonna get the cheese sticks and roll them with the flour and the breadcrumbs and this, and put them to fry. Okay, guys. So um, the video I did see. People use mozzarella sticks and you have to insert them in the mozzarella sticks so that you can just dip them in the batter. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm only going to do three because I'm going to be the one who's going to eat them and I'm not going to want to make a whole bunch. So yeah, I already inserted the mozzarella sticks in with the stick. I'm going to be making two sugared ones and then a hot cheeto one because that one looks really good as well. And I'm going to be pouring the batter into this cup so it's easier to dip the cheese sticks in. So let's go ahead and pour this. Okay, so that's a nice little cup. And I have my plate with flour and breadcrumbs so I'm gonna roll these in flour first bring these in flour so now I'm going to be 
dumping these in the batter. Ooh, it's gonna spill, it's gonna spill. Okay, nice and covered. You want to get a nice decent amount on there so they can get all nice and thick once we fry them. Okay, that's good enough. And then we are going to be rolling these in the breadcrumbs. Make sure you cover them all around. So I have my plate for my hot Cheeto dust. So let's go ahead and smash them. Let's use an apple. Okay, so make sure you smash them to get the nice little dust. And then we are going to be rolling the corn dog in the hot Cheeto dust. Ooh, look at that. Nice and covered in hot Cheetos. Okay, so these are nice and covered. So we are going to be frying them next. Okay, so as you guys can see, Two of them are just breadcrumbs, and then this one is the hot Cheeto dust. Okay, guys, so I have the oil already in the pan. I turned it off because it's not supposed to be too hot because then it'll kind of burn the outside, and then the cheese won't get melted on the inside. So I turned it off already. So we are going to be just putting them in there. So I'm going to be putting it, and then if I step away, don't laugh. Whenever oil jumps on you, it hurts. So, I'm not trying to get burnt, so I'm just going to drop it in. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I'm going to be putting the breadcrumbs one in and then the hot cheeto one at last because I don't want it to like mix all the way. You're supposed to turn them every once in a while so it gets nice and golden all around. Ooh, they look pretty. Ooh, the cheese is getting out. Okay, we're gonna put this one in too. You guys hear that sizzle? That sizzle better be the flavor. Ooh, the hot cheeto one looks good, guys. Make sure you don't step away though, because I've seen a lot of people like doing it at home. And they're like, they get confident and they step away for like five seconds and they like get all brown and burnt. So don't, don't step away. Make sure you have enough time. Okay, the ones that I saw didn't have their cheese oozing out, but I feel like that's a good sign because that means the cheese melted all the way. And I want to get a, a nice like cheese pull once I bite into it. So yeah guys, I will get back to you once these are done and we're gonna give them a taste test. Okay guys, so they are nice and fried already. The cheese is coming out, but it's okay because we love cheese around here. So I'm going to be, since I only made three, I'm only gonna be um, coating one of them with sugar. So yeah, we are going to be coating one in sugar. Okay, nice little presentation. They kind of look lumpy, but we're going to work with it because that's how it fried and I can't do anything about it. We're going to go ahead and put ketchup and mustard. Um, I don't know the hype about this, but people post pictures about this and it looks really good. So I was skeptical about this at first because sugar with ketchup and mustard, I was like what but people say it's really good and i want to try it out for you guys so let's go ahead and give it a nice little bite <laughs> i'm scared guys so 
Cheers! And let's give this a bite. Mmm. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. I was scared about this part because of the sugar with the ketchup and mustard, but it actually tastes good. This is really good. Mmm. It's falling apart on me. You can see the cheese though. And that looks amazing. Wow. I did not expect them to taste this good. Like, these are good. Imagine the ones you would buy at a restaurant that like specializes in this. Oh my gosh, guys. I rate this one. A 9 out of 10. This is really good. Let me tell you guys something. I'm not a big mustard girl. But I did not mind that at all on this one. It's really good together. It gives it that nice little like sour taste of the mustard. And then like you can taste the sugar but it's not like overpowering. Like that was the part that I was like mm, iffy about but because sugar with cheese and then ketchup and mustard i was like hold up that don't seem right but that is that was good i really like that one so i'm gonna go ahead and try the hot cheeto one now Ooh, look at that you can see the cheese oozing out of it and i'm not gonna put ketchup and mustard on this one because um that doesn't seem good but let's go ahead and give this a bite Oh my gosh. Wow. That one. So much better. Hot Cheetos just makes everything 100 times better. So that one I have to give it a 10 out of 10 I've never tried hot Cheetos with mozzarella cheese before but it's a good combination and you can actually taste the hot Cheeto like, you know those mozzarella cheese sticks that everyone was doing like a year ago when we were in quarantine you know how they would cover them in hot Cheeto dust and a lot of people said that it didn't taste like hot Cheetos because it was fried, but I feel like this still has the hot Cheeto taste. It's nice and crunchy. This is really good though. I recommend you guys trying these too. I didn't think it was going to be this good, guys. Like, honestly, I didn't think it was going to be this good. Wow. And that was delicious. That is going to put me into a food coma. Like, does that happen to you guys whenever you eat something really good? Like your eyes feel a little heavy. You feel like just need a nap, you know? Anyways, that recipe you guys need to try out. It doesn't taste like an like a regular corn dog does because that's how I thought it was gonna taste like a regular corn dog. I was like, isn't that just a corn dog? But I guess not because it's like crunchier. Um and because of the breadcrumbs. I don't know if regular corn dogs get covered in breadcrumbs or if they just get fried um once they are dipped into the batter but the breadcrumbs does um make a huge difference because it's like crunchier and since it doesn't have like a a hot dog like an actual hot dog um sausage it's just cheese um that is really good though i've seen people do them with like the actual hot dog sausage and then cover it with cheddar cheese but I didn't have those ingredients, so I just decided to do it with mozzarella cheese. Um, but that is still really good. Um, it's a totally different flavor from a regular corn dog because like I said before, it's just cheese. And the breadcrumbs make it super crunchy. I feel like I could have left them in a little bit so like the cheese could get more gooey, like more melted. I did have a couple of cheese pulls, but it wasn't as like stretchy as I expected it to be. And... 
um they could have i could have fried them a little bit longer because they are kind of like it is kind of like it's not too golden brown but other than that i rate these a 10 out of 10 because they were really good i really did not expect them to taste this good i just thought mm, breadcrumbs cheese like yeah it's gonna be like regular i will be making these again because i'm kind of obsessed with them now even though i've only tried them once but these are really good guys i hope you guys try them out um comment down below any places that you guys buy these korean hot dogs at because i want to try the actual ones like that restaurants make to see to like compare them to mine um and if they're not too far from my house i will try them out i will make another video for you guys so like i can compare them and let you know how much better they are because i'm pretty sure they're much better than mine um i think that's the end of today's video so i hope you guys like this and try this recipe out and let me know how it goes if you guys make them you guys can um tag me on instagram and i'll repost you but yeah guys i hope you guys like this kind of video i know i do a lot of cooking segments on here but i just love cooking and i love giving you guys recipes about food that is worth making you know um so yeah guys that's the end of today's video don't forget to hit the bell icon and turn on your post notifications so that you guys won't miss any of my videos when they go up. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time, guys. Bye!